Tropical Storm Sally is not a direct threat to the state of Florida, but we will be feeling some impacts here in north central Florida. I'm forecaster Nicolette Sangara. We have plenty of systems we're watching out in the Atlantic, but none of those are a threat to the United States. Let's focus a little bit more on the Gulf of Mexico. Tropical Storm Sally is forecast to become a hurricane by Monday or Tuesday and then make a direct impact into a Louisiana and or the state of Mississippi by around Wednesday morning. However, we are not expecting direct impacts to the state of Florida. We also have this low chance of development sitting further offshore that's expected to head southward. As for the impacts you can expect throughout this evening and into the overnight hours, rounds of downpours are likely and isolated wind gusts are possible up to 40 miles an hour. So minor wind damage not out of the question and localized flooding is also a possibility, especially towards the western half of the peninsula towards the Cedar Key area, stretching up into Cross City and Perry. Heading further into the evening hours, some scattered showers and thunderstorms will be moving through again, mostly to the western half of the peninsula, but I can't rule out the chance that some of these showers will be moving their way further inland. As for those temperatures as we head through the overnight hours, dropping into the mid 70s, 74 for your low in Gainesville and Ocala, 73 in Crystal River, 72 up towards Lake City. And here's that updated six day forecast. If you don't have a strong umbrella, I suggest you get one because it looks like for the rest of the week, we are expecting high rain chances as deep tropical moisture sits over the state of Florida.